Okay, we're going to enter module seven, U Inc. This is something I'm very, very excited about. I always get excited about this because this drives everything in, in life. This is about you expanding yourself into the wealth of becoming an entrepreneur or becoming a business alongside of that which you do right now. So we're going to compare them. We're going to, in lesson one, talk about the essence of being an employee. We're going to look closely at the employee. Now, the most common work-related positioning is that of being an employee. The people, the reason people become employees is because they're looking for security. They like that feeling. They like to be secure, and that makes a sense of dependence, however, though. You know, as Earl Nightingale used to like to say, there are really uh, two doors to walk through in life. Oh, there's really three. There's three doors. You can walk through a door that says security, you can walk through a door that says dependence, and you can walk through a door that says independence. And basically, if you make the wrong choice in one of those doors, you get neither. If you walk through the door that says independence, you get it all. If you walk through the door that says security, you end up with neither security nor dependence. And if you walk through the dependence door, you end up with neither security nor dependence because you have no personal control. Again, you're an employee. It's about you selling your skills. You're trading your skills for time and you get back money. That's what happens. But time is fixed. Remember that. Remember, it's not just the essence of time in your investments. It's the essence in times and your ability to earn income. Time is fixed. There's eight hours, nine hours, 10 hours, 16 hours in a work day, whatever they allow you to work, whatever they're going to pay you for. But it's limited. Once you reach the limit, you can't expand it. You can't earn any more. Oh, yeah, you get a 3% raise or something of that nature. What does that mean? That's not going to make you independently wealthy. So, again, you have to get off the treadmill. Now, a person who's employed for wages or salary, especially at the non-executive level, it's the definition of employee. In 2017, about 126 million people were employed on a full-time basis. That's over half. No, nah, it's not quite half. But you got, if you add in children and everything, we're about 325 million in the United States. So let's say it's about 40%. The number of full-time employees in the United States has increased by almost 20 million people since 1991. That's kind of amazing. That is, shows that people are more than willing to trade time for money. So what does a worker do? They exchange time for money. Their skills determine their compensation, not their talents, but their skills. You are responsible for 100% of your income. It's the only income you get. It's got no leverage attached to it. It is simply you trading time for money. Okay, now, why do we get to this point? Well, we got to this point, once again, because we were taught throughout our entire educational process to get an education and then get a good job. That's what we do. Work for someone else and you'll have security. That's what we were told. Well, that's changed dramatically. We now live in a gig society. People drive for Uber. People work for Amazon on a part-time basis. More so than not, people are adding little gig jobs to their actual full-time job. Once again, trading more time for money. Trading time for money is a linear equation. It is one flat line to basically hitting a limitation. Now, as an employee, you're non-self-reliant. We talked about reading Emerson's essay on reliance, on self-reliance. You're skill dependent. It's all based on your skill. What happens if your skill becomes outdated? You get downsized. Don't need your skill. Somebody else has the skill. A robot has your skill. Whatever it is. And by the way, the less effective your skill is, the more likely you are to be downsized. Financial independence is rare. It's not impossible, but it's rare. You have to find other ways to supplement and draw in more income. And that's what we're going to talk about in the next lesson.